So the first thing you're going to need to do is download the application JoinFS. You can search for it on Google or look at the notes below and I'll put a link to the application. From here you go to the install menu and select the current version to download. Once you've downloaded it, um, it's worth having a quick read of the manual. It's fairly well written and I didn't have any problems following it but if you do and you uh, would like a full video on installing JoinFS uh, put some comments below and I'll put together a video and like I said that everything's in the manual. For X-Plane users the only thing I would point out that you need to install the plugin for X-Plane so it can connect and that can be done from the client. Anyway once you've launched the desktop client for JoinFS, it will connect to the simulator automatically. And we now need to join it to the network. So rather than join a public server so everyone can see me, I'm just going to hit the Create button and join a local network. And when I've got two greens, I'm ready to go. From here, I would open up the recorder from the view menu tick recorder and then hit the record button I fly my flight as usual in X plane do my circuit do whatever I want and when I land I hit the stop and save the recording now all I need to do is go to file open up the recording and if I choose the one from the previous flight which was uh, Long Shoreham, and click open. It will load the previous, pli previous flight. Uh, there's the plane beginning to taxi, and I do my taxi as normal and fly alongside. And I can keep doing this playback and practice my formation flying with two planes. However, rather than just hit playback I can use the overdub button and now it will play back the flight and also record my current flight so I'll now have a recording with two planes in it and if I play that one back I can fly along with two other aeroplanes and if I overdub that I now got three planes recorded and I can keep going and going as you can imagine doesn't seem to be a hit on frame rate and I think it's fairly easy but if you have any comments or any questions put them below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Until then enjoy your flying.